Hey YouTube, this is Cyber Aquarius, and I'm just getting over a cold, so forgive the way I'm talking right now. But I just wanted to uh, go ahead and show you uh, another update on my filtration. I've got all the matrix in. The doubling up on the egg crate really worked. Um, I staggered it this way to the front and to the side. Uh, the holes are actually a quarter of what they used to be. Um, and I don't have any pieces that fell through. All the pieces uh, remained on top of the egg crate. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Um, I went out and I bought another four liters of Matrix. I just didn't feel that the the four li four initial liters uh, was thick enough. I didn't think that the water would have enough contact time with the Matrix. So I bought four more liters. Now I have a total of eight liters of Matrix and eight gallons of Bio Balls. Um, got four gallons of Bio Balls in this compartment and I'll pour the rest of them in this side. I just wanted to show everybody how the Matrix is uh, staying on top of the egg crate. There's the additional Bio Balls. And I had a few more of my items come in. Um, the auto top off I got it as a door buster special from Bulk Reef Supply. Um, the float sensor is over here and I've got it set to where whenever the water drops just below the matrix it'll uh, kick on. The sensor's uh, wired to this pump over here, uh, Tom's Aqualifter, and it'll pull water from this 10 gallon tank. Uh, there's an airline tubing silicone to a river rock. It'll pull it up the line through the toms and into the tank, into the sump. Uh, the return line is here, above, which will be above the water line. You don't want to put it below the water line because whenever the power goes off it would act as a siphon. So keep that in mind. Um, and I got my Danner Mag Drive 18 pump. I don't have it plumbed yet. Um, we'll do that here in the next few days. Uh, and also the bulk reef supplies carbon reactor. It might go there. I might leave it there uh, once I do a test run of my filtration. If it's stable, I'll just leave it there. Uh, there's a, a MJ1200, which will pump uh, water through the carbon and then return into the sump. Um, if I don't leave it, leave it there, I'm going to mount it up here. I'll put a 2x4 under this brace and paint it and then mount it here above the uh, return reservoir but hopefully it'll be stable there and just keep it out of the way I mean it's easily accessible got my power strip uh, my plumbing will go through here and these uh, outlets rotate so I can move them out of the way um, again the uh, heater control units there um, and I've already got my return pump, my return line uh, plumbed with uh, it's a one inch PVC Schedule 40 with two three quarter inch lock lines. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to possibly drill a hole here at the top and put a hose barb with a 90 and run an airline tube and down to where it touches the uh, water level. And whenever the power goes out, uh, this won't. Whenever the water drops down below the airline tubing, it'll create a siphon break. And everybody knows that I've got the uh, Reef Octopus overflow box. And a lot of people have been telling me, you know, it's dangerous, you know, relying on something mechanical to keep an overflow box primed. A lot of people use an aqualifter pump. But what I'm going to do, uh, this is just a test, but I've uh, drilled and threaded a, a one, in, a one and eighth inch uh, hose barb into this PVC. This is just a test to see you know what size and all. But I'm gonna drill a hole in the side of my return line and put this uh, hose barb in the side and run an airline tube up to the uh, this 90 here on the top of the reef octopus. That's where the uh, Aqualifter pump would hook up to to pull any air that gets trapped in the top Pull it out, but in this case Using this it'll act like a power head when you use it as an aerator 
it should pull at 1200 gallons of water per hour it should pull the air out of the uh, overflow box and up the return line and disperse it into the tank you know just whenever a few bubbles get in there it should uh, take it out but that'll be an experiment <clears throat> I'm gonna probably uh, have this thing plumbed in the next few days and go ahead and test it out um, and once all the I know that all the filtration is working properly and my sump will hold the water from the overflow and all the tests I'm going to do then it's time to concentrate on my lighting which I want to go with the LEDs and then aquascaping and none of this will matter if I don't do the aquascaping correctly so that's that's the critical that's the most critical part of setting up a aquarium to me is doing the aquascaping correctly um, I've got a couple boxes of uh, lace rock over there my driftwood still trying to decide on the substrate but um, it's going to be a little bit before I get to that um, really excited and everybody thanks for watching stay tuned for the next update take care